I'll show you real quick how to adjust the carburetor on these. It doesn't run quite right with the air filter on, so I'm going to remove these little restrictor caps that are on the high and low screw, if I can. I just took this little cover off, and there's these plastic caps in here. I'll try to pull them off. There we go. You can see they got a little a little stop on there. And it prevents you from turning the screw too far. So I'll pull those off and then you can adjust all you want. There we go. I got them both off. Actually this was designed to go with these. It's got a little ridge in there so you can only turn it so far. There we go. That'll give me a little guide for the screwdriver. Hold it in place. Now I can turn it all I want. Now let's adjust that carburetor again. If you adjust these screws and you lose your place, typically they set them out a turn and a half from the factory on both the low and the high side. The low side's closest to the engine, the high side is furthest away. So, I'll check and see where this one is just for, for that sake. So there's a half a turn, one turn, one and a half, two turns. It's at two full turns. So if you lost your place, what I would do is go out a turn and a half as a starting place. So there's a half, one, one and a half. I'll do the same thing on the high side. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you lose your place. If you lose your place and you don't know where you are, I'd do this. Otherwise, just try to make a little slight adjustment. So this one's set a half, just a half a turn. I'm gonna go to one and a half. And you wanna do this with the filter on. So now we'll go ahead and try to start it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the low side first. I'm going to let it idle. You got to have it warmed up. I'm going to let it idle. And I'm going to turn it clockwise till it starts bogging down. Then counterclockwise till it starts bogging down. And then I'm going to find that sweet spot where the highest idle speed is. Then I'm going to go to the high side and I'm going to put the engine at full throttle, and I'm going to do the same thing. Turn it clockwise till it bogs, counterclockwise till it bogs, and find that sweet spot. Then what I'm going to do is let it idle again and throttle up real quick. I want it to be responsive. If it's not real responsive, I'm going to turn this low side screw out just a little bit and see if that improves. If it doesn't, you can turn it in a little bit, out gives it a little more gas. So typically that's, that's uh, the way you want to go if it's bogging down. So let's go ahead and do it, and at the end, you adjust the idle. And that's this screw right here. Got the switch on to run. So it died out. So I'm going to turn it out. Quarter turn. And if you have a hard time getting it going, you can turn your idle speed up. That'll help you get it running and so you can get going on it. And you can adjust that at the end. I'm going to come out just a little bit more on that, on the low side.
this spot. That's the way you tune a carburetor. Real easy. Hope this was a help to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.